welcome to my channel alavyas tech so today i'm going to be starting my education vlogs so i'm in first grade my favorite subject is science so today we are going to learn about the science the skeleton of human body the our body is made up of many bones of different shapes and sizes there are 206 bones in our body which together form the skeleton system the skeleton the internal framework of bones of the body is called the skeleton system skeleton um, it performs the following main functions gives a bunch of the body and helps to maintain its shape protects the internal soft and delicate organs like the brain heart and lungs etc helps the body to move it provides attachment to the muscles it acts as a storage for calcium and phosphorus which are essential minerals of our overall body the bone marrow present inside the bone produces red blood cells bones of our body are very hard they are living tissues they are mainly made up of minerals like calcium and phosphorus which make them hard bones are strong but light in weight as they hollow from inside long bones contain a soft substance called the bone marrow which is present inside the bones the bones are of various shapes and sizes the longest bone in our body is the thigh bone also known as the femur the smallest bone in our body is the tips which is present inside our ears a baby is born with 300 soft bones with the growth of a with the growth of the child some of these bones fuse together and an adult person has 206 bones now we are going to learn about the parts of the skeleton the main parts of the skeleton are skull vertebrae column of the backbone the rib cage the limbs and the girdles skull the skull is a framework of bones of the head it is made up of 22 extreme hard and strong bones a baby is born with bones a baby is born these bones are not joined together but as it grows the bones of it fuse together forming a single skull try to move the bones of your head are you able to move them only one bone moves in your head and that bone is the lower jaw or the mandible now let's see the functions of the skull what are the functions of the skull it the functions of the skull are, it gives shape to the face it provides protection to the brain eyes tongue and inner ears it provides sockets for the eyes it acts the teeth present in the upper and lower jaws helps in talk cutting and chewing the food feel your nose and ears are they hard as a bone are they soft as a muscle our nose and ears are not made up of bones but a special tissue called cartilage this tissue is not as hard as a bone but it is stiffer and less flexible than muscles vertebrae column or the backbone the vertebrae column is a column of 33 small and hollow ring like bones called vertebrae it starts from the base of the skull and runs up to the lower back it is also known as the spine or the backbone the top seven vertebrae are present in the neck region by the last fly or fuse together to form the tailbone functions of vertebrae column it protects the spinal cord present inside the hollow of the vertebrae column it provides the main support of the body and helps us to stand upright bend and twist next class we will continue about the rib cage if you want any more subjects in fifth grade write on the comments i'll be surely taking classes for my dear friends thanks for watching kindly stay tuned for more videos at olivia's tech please subscribe like and put that bell icon so you get all my notifications bye bye thanks a